Hi guys, it's Ian from OSBFX. It is Wednesday the 8th of March 2023. It's just gone 8 o'clock in the morning in the UK. Today I want to concentrate on the euro against the US dollar. The daily chart is highlighting a very interesting uh, support level. Now yesterday we had Powell out. His comments uh, caused a rally in the US dollar, uh, over 1% in the dollar index, which is DXY. Um, that in turn uh, caused the euro against the US dollar to move to the downside. Now, later on today, we've also got some eurozone figures. We've got GDP, that's gross domestic product. Uh, we're expecting a print year on year of 1.9% and quarter on quarter of 0%. Uh, percent. That could also be a catalyst uh, for this trade setup. Let's get to the charts. Here I've got uh, various different time frames. First of all, we're looking at DXY, which is the dollar index. So we've got the monthly chart, we've got the weekly chart, daily chart, eight hour, two hour, and hourly down here in the right hand corner. But the two charts that I want to concentrate on today are these medium term charts. So the daily chart and the weekly chart. If I open up the daily chart, you can see here that I've highlighted a resistance uh, zone. So we've got uh, 105.29 um, is a uh, level which um, highlights a cipher formation and then we've got 105.62. Now that is a resistance level uh, which is left by a DMARC count and that looks quite important uh, when we go down uh, or up to the weekly chart. So going to the weekly chart and again, I use support and resistance levels. I then use uh, what's known as cipher formations uh, to try and highlight uh, decent uh, trade setups. And you can see here that we've got that resistance zone there. That's a kill zone for me in between 105.29 and 105.62. We are just starting to see a bit of a move uh, to the downside in the DXY. So what I'm looking for, I'm looking for this move lower in a BC leg. So obviously, if the dollar moves to the downside, then uh, I should be looking for higher levels in the euro against uh, the US dollar. Let's have a look at that chart. So again, same format, monthly, weekly, daily, eight hour, two hour, and hourly. And today, I just want to concentrate on these three charts. So going to the daily chart, and here, I've got a support level at 105.27. Now, if I project this pattern into the future, it then gives me a bat formation down here at 97.09. So again, I'm looking for that move to the upside. And like I said, the support level is at 105, uh, sorry, 105.27. And overnight, we made a low print of 105.24. So at the moment, that level is holding. What I also like about this setup is if I go to the weekly chart, we could potentially be in a CD leg to the upside. And if I go to the monthly chart, that highlights next resistance around about 112.75. So all of these higher time frames, the weekly chart, the monthly chart, and the daily chart are all giving me a bullish bias. Now, if I also go to some other uh, dollar majors, I want confluence, so I want other dollar uh, products to highlight that there's potential uh, for the dollar to move to the downside. Um, sterling dollar, not so good. We've got support level uh, a bit further down, but sterling crosses are all looking quite weak as far as sterling is concerned at the moment. Uh, there's a support zone net down there around about 116.80. However, dollar Swiss, if we go to the eight hour chart, we've com uh, completed a formation uh, known as a bearish bat pattern. If we go to dollar yen, and again, we're going to the eight hour chart here, we're not far off a 261.8% extension level, and that's located here at 138.51. This um, formation is looking quite good as far as Elliott Wave is concerned. So wave one, two, three, four, and then up in five and exhausting in this zone. Again, giving us a bearish bias on the dollar. If we go to dollar CAD, 
we've got two zones here we're going to go to the eight hour chart first we've got 138.19 highlights a 261.8 percent extension again often an exhaustion zone if we go to the daily chart here we've got a bat formation sorry a cipher formation known as Gartley pattern and that's completing uh, very close to that 261.8 percent extension level and if we go to New Zealand dollar this is the last one we're going to look at here we've completed a, another cipher formation known as a butterfly pattern and that was completed this morning uh, at one uh, sorry at 60.95 so using confluence using these cipher patterns it looks to me like we could see uh, further upside pressure, sustained upside pressure in the euro against the US dollar. Many thanks, guys. I'll be back soon with some more analysis.